Hey, this is Anthony from MakeWeirdMusic.com. In this video, I want to introduce you to one of the weirdest, most mysterious and artistic bands in the world, The Residents. It's my personal hope that the human race will never know another band as weird as The Residents. I mean, they're the kind of band that'll leave you slack-jawed and scared to live long enough to hear their next album or see their next live show. In fact, I saw them in 2010 on their Talking Light tour, and I was legitimately terrified. Bands like Marilyn Manson and Tool, they've got nothing on the residents when it comes to being dark, weird, and creepy. They've toured the world several times over, and their identities have never been revealed. This has led to lots of myths and rumors and speculation about who could really be in the band. They could be a garage band from up the street, or they could be John, Paul, George, and Ringo from the Beatles. No one knew and no one could prove anything. As a kid, I got hooked on the residents with their 20 Twisted Questions Laserdisc, which featured music videos from The Third Reich and Roll, Freak Show, and some of their other projects. What I love is that their identities and their personal fame are secondary to their art. This distinguishes them from pretty much every other band in the world, and gives them freedom to be as weird and creative and outlandish as they want without much at stake. As a kid, I had no idea that The Residents were a niche band. I mean, they had a Laserdisc, they had popular CD-ROM games, and pretty much every other band out there didn't have anything like that. For all I knew, they were a mainstream popular band. But as I got older, I came to appreciate how weird and unpopular and unique their performance art is. In fact, after I got married, my wife really helped me appreciate how unpopular the band could really be. In 2005, I heard their album Animal Lover, and I was completely stunned. I mean, even now, 10 years later, it remains one of the strangest albums I've ever heard. And the video for their song, Hello Skinny, is one of the most surreal and visionary and innovative and creepy things I've ever seen. Other favorites of mine you might want to check out include the commercial album, which features 40 one-minute songs that can each be played three times in a row for their radio-length single or Eskimo, which is a cornucopia of soundscapes and poetry and sarcastic music. Or The King and I, which is a musical surrealist biography of Elvis Presley and has 21 reimagined Elvis songs. Or Duck Stab, which might make you want to jump out of a window or dive into a shallow pool. A feature-length documentary came out this year about the residents called Theory of Obscurity. It's playing selectively around the world, but uh, should be available for purchase in the not-too-distant future. If you can't wait until then, check out their DVD, Icky Flicks. It features music videos from the last few decades and is guaranteed to give you nightmares for weeks. So if you're ever looking for something to trump your weird music hipster friends, play them The Residents. You'll always win.